Nearly 100 people crammed inside a sweltering big rig. Ten of them would die in the heat. And tonight, News 8 is digging deeper into the story of the people behind this tragedy. Up to 100 of them treated worse than cattle. The survivors say they had no food, no water, and they had to take turns breathing from a hole. So here is the suspect, James Bradley Jr. He was the driver of the truck with people trapped inside. Bradley appeared in federal court today, and he could face the death penalty. Bradley says that he had no idea those immigrants were in his truck. News 8's Brett Ship, though, is in San Antonio taking a close look at that claim. James Matthew Bradley's curious account of how 10 smuggled immigrants died in his trailer is spelled out in the criminal complaint. But the feds are not buying his story. Bradley, an independent driver, was hired by Pile Transportation of Shaler, Iowa, to deliver an empty trailer to a buyer in Brownsville, Texas. But Bradley says he had no timetable and drove 200 miles out of his way to Laredo to have his truck washed and detailed. Then, instead of driving to Brownsville, he ended up in a Walmart parking lot in San Antonio early Sunday morning. Friday late afternoon, you guys try to call him and no answer. Today in San Antonio, investigative State producer County. Mark Smith finds a hole in Bradley's story. Brother, the owners of Pile Transportation tell him Bradley was to deliver the trailer to Brownsville last Friday. They say the rest of his story doesn't wash. They told us by phone, quote, you don't need to go through Laredo to go to Brownsville and definitely not head back to San Antonio. As to why the cooling unit on the trailer was not used to keep the passengers cool, they tell Smith the trailer was sold as a dry box. Bradley knew that the refrigeration wasn't necessarily even working because it didn't need it. And while Bradley was allegedly the key player on this side of the border, it turns out the Zeta drug cartel played a prominent role on the Mexico side, charging each traveler between $700 and $3,300. Former U.S. Marshal for the Western District of Texas, Robert Almonte, says safety is rarely a consideration. They don't see these people as human beings. They don't see them as victims, they see them as, uh, as business, as a commodity. Uh, there's no difference between them smuggling drugs and smuggling human beings. The criminal complaint lays out the process of how many of the immigrants were smuggled across the border, then forced into stash houses for days at a time, a common practice among smugglers along the route. He shows us one example from a South Texas raid last year. You had, uh, I believe, close to 40 individuals uh, that were being uh, Stage there at this uh, human trafficking stage house. But they're young. They're very young. Yeah, very young. And by all accounts, very desperate to come to America and well aware that their trip at the hands of ruthless smugglers and drug lords could be their last. In San Antonio, Brett Ship, Channel 8 News.